family it's Christy from see me vlogs and in today's video I am going to be recording a mukbang I just got through cooking Sunday dinner we just had our worship service online with zoom and I was ready to eat and I thought it'd be fun to turn the camera on and eat with you guys so before we get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. If you like vlogs, anything vlogs, shop with me's, cook with me's, clean with me's, just everyday living, and starting the day mukbangs, hit that subscribe button. So let's get into this Sunday dinner. Before we get started, I'm gonna get I'm gonna switch chairs because this chair is kind of low. Alright, I had to make some adjustments in production ah, to bring you guys closer. <laughs> so again, this is what we have here. We have a turkey wing, a chicken leg, some yellow rice, and cabbage. And um, I just cooked this food. I know you can see the steam. Um, if you want to see how I cooked it, I will link that video in the iCard above. Alright, had to make my thumbnail. I saw that on B-Love's channel. If you guys like mukbangs and you've never seen B-Love's life, what are you doing? She is amazing. Mmm. This is the first time that I've had steamed cabbage in a long time. I just had a taste for it. And let me tell you, I put green bell peppers in it. And that is what set it off. I taste the flavors of the peppers and onions. I put onion powder, garlic powder, Creole seasoning. I don't know why I'm thinking about it. I use the same seasonings all the time. Mmm. But that is really good. I'm going to lift you up just a little bit make sure you can see me. This is the yellow rice. I put a picture of the rice that I use on the screen. I get this yellow rice from Walmart and it is the best. It has so much flavor. You put just a little butter in the water with the rice and it cooks on its own. It comes out perfect every time. You can see the seasonings in it. It has, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the red pepper in it? It has peppers in it. It has seasonings in it and you can see them. It's perfect. Really don't have to season what you're going to cook with it, in my opinion, because it's seasoned so good. Mmm. This is good, y'all. This is really good. I haven't even tried the meat yet. But the veggies and rice are really good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I cooked the air fryer chicken yesterday. And we had some left over. So I seasoned the turkey wings because that's what I had a taste for. And I only cooked, it was eight pieces. So I cooked the four and then I looked at how much chicken we had left over. And I said, you know what? We'll have turkey wings and chicken. And I put the other four pieces back in the freezer. It was already clean. It was already seasoned. It was ready to go. Let's try this turkey wing. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. That is juicy, y'all. That air fryer, I don't know if you can see it. That's my air fryer right there. It's the Ninja Foodie. You gotta get you one, y'all. If you have an air fryer and you're not satisfied with it, or if you feel like you got too many appliances in your kitchen, I threw out my pressure cooker, my slow cooker, and my air fryer. All three had something wrong with it. The lid on the pressure cooker, I had taken it apart to clean and couldn't and never got it back on right. So it was barely working. The slow cooker, the handles, everything was broken off of it. And the air fryer just stopped working. I threw them all out and got the Ninja Foodie. I put a link to it down in this description box. 
it does nine things you can pressure cook air crisp tender crisp roast bake broil slow cook sear saute and make yoga in that device it is amazing i love it with the chicken that we did yesterday i did some my husband loves the crinkle cut french fries and he loves them crispy they were perfect i got the O'Reilly season crinkle cut french fries i didn't have to add any salt they were so good but i do love sauces i had this left over because i was out of it i actually like yum yum sauce on my air fryer food but i was out of yum yum sauce and I had these sauces left over from Walt, from uh, Wendy's. It says a uh, side of sauceum, like awesome with an S, side of sauceum sauce. That's what it looks like. And that's what the bag looks like. And it reminds you of Zaxby sauce. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. So I'm gonna be dipping my food. I can't get enough of these veggies and this rice. So good. So I try not to talk about things on my channel like political things and stuff like that because I'm not political at all. I, it's my own personal preference but it has to do with religion. I, I have made a conscious decision to cast my vote in um, our wonderful creator Jehovah and his son Jesus Christ. So I don't support all the politics because in my heart I don't believe that man can change any of the things that are happening. I feel that the only source of true peace and happiness will only come from our sovereign Lord and creator. So I don't talk about a lot of things but I feel compelled to mention all the things that are going on surrounding the situation with George Floyd. And it's not just him. We've lost so many of our brothers and sisters, men and women, black and white and Mexican and any other race to nonsense. And George Floyd is another example of nonsense something that didn't have to happen so i pray for his family because that's such a hard thing to go through and i pray that the best outcome happens i don't want to see anybody um i always want to see justice served so in this system, through the justice system, there are things in place for people who commit crimes. And it's my prayer that all of the things that are due to happen will happen. And I feel sad. I live in Atlanta, on well, the outskirts of Atlanta. And I feel so sad about all of the things that have taken place in Atlanta in the last few days. I don't know if you've been watching the news, but what started out as a peaceful demonstration downtown ended in riots and burnings and chaos. And it's not for me to have an opinion. I'm not taking part in any of it. But I don't believe in destroying your own house, even out of anger. My husband and I are angry at each other. The solution is not to break dishes and tear apart furniture and, and break windows and burn the house down. The solution is to communicate, is to talk about it, is to reason on it, come to a solution. I feel 
come to a solution where we both agree, have forgiveness toward each other, and pursue peace. And that situation is no different. For me, this is my opinion. I know that people are upset and angry. The solution is not to tear the house, your own house down. So, keep praying that my prayer is that all of this chaos and wickedness that we see on in the world will be over soon and that um, justice will be served and I feel that the only justice will come when God is ruling this earth and not man. Y'all this food is so good. Mm. I did that and it was quick and easy and simple. But on another note, I have three more days at work, y'all. Three. So today's Sunday. I work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then that is it for working from home. I'm off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then Monday the 8th, I start on my new job. Still working for Amazon, just not from home. I'm so excited. I'm thinking about what I'm going to wear, how I'm going to have my hair, what color my nails will be, which are super cute, by the way. Did y'all see the video of me painting my nails? Oh, I did a great job. I have so many videos in queue that you may see this after my first day. I don't know. I'm trying to do them in order, but I've just basically been turning on the camera and getting footage and editing videos as I can and just having them ready to go. So there's a lot of other stuff in front of this. <laughs> this is the chicken from yesterday. Mm. I forgot to dip it in the sauce. This sauce, if you haven't tried it. Sauce is good. I could do this with shrimp, chicken, shrimp, chicken, beef. It's good. Oh, it's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Ain't nothing like a good sauce on your food, y'all. This is good. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep my mouth covered. My mom hates when I eat on video. <laughs> she hates it. She watches every video and then she calls me to tell me what I did wrong. Even my Aunt June from South Carolina called me one day to say, your videos are amazing. You do a good job. Just don't eat. Don't, don't you smacking. <laughs> Mom, auntie, this video is for that, okay? I'm sorry. I come from, I come from a family of some beautiful, beautiful women. There are some beautiful women. My mother, my aunts, my cousins, my grandmother, their family were all some beautiful women. High cheekbones, beautiful color. Mom, my grandmother and grandfather's side of the family. My grandmother's side was a lighter skin set of people, but my grandfather's side had Indian. And his mother, she could sit on her hair. She, her hair... Correct me if I'm wrong, Auntie, Mama, her hair may have been to her ankles. Really, really long, really beautiful, beautiful women. So, um, good hair. I don't know what happened to mine. Y'all see my hair is nappy, nappy, nappy. But 
I love it natural like this, but they have beautiful hair. My cousin Jocelyn has long, I don't care. When she cuts it, it grows right back. Her brother Jerry, naturally curly. Big, beautiful, bouncy, curly curls. And his son Preston, same way. Really beautiful. But I mentioned that to say that these beautiful women don't play when it comes to etiquette. They don't play when it comes to how you carry yourself. They will check you. Okay? <laughs> mm, 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 mm. I'm getting full, y'all. Can you tell? You know I can't eat that much after my surgery. But this is so good. I feel like whenever I make a meal, sometimes I'll take a bite on camera. Sometimes I won't. But that's all I do. So I wanted to eat with you today and just talk a little bit. Y'all see that, right? My rice and veggies are almost gone. So good. Mm. Another reason I'm trying to build up so many videos is I realize that as I go into this new job where I physically be at the site, where I'll be working 10 hours a day, I don't want to get behind in what I post. So I've got some stuff that I've already gotten ready. And I've got a long list of video ideas. A lot of you guys, let me find my phone. A lot of you have um, asked me to do videos on certain things I haven't forgotten. I've just been so busy, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Let me find my phone. I have some questions that I wanted to answer. Let's see if I can find them. A lot of these are <clears throat> questions about mobile homes, so I'll probably not do those. But I will see if there's some personal ones I have. So, as you also may have known, this, um, <clears throat> this is uh, not my only YouTube channel. I just started this channel maybe a month or so ago. I wanted to separate vlog type videos from my main channel. My main channel I'm called The Mobile Home Diva. And I started that channel because I'm a real YouTuber and I was looking for people like me who had purchased a manufactured home who were kind of like recorded their journey on YouTube so that I could see what their experiences was as we were purchasing ours. And I couldn't find anything like that. I was a little disappointed, so I started my own channel. I started that channel back in August of 2019. And yesterday, which was Saturday, May 30th, we hit 10,000 subscribers. So, so excited about that. I never even imagined that a thousand people would watch, let alone 10,000. Um, subscriber Julie Martin says, how interesting we have a lot in common. I don't know what video this is from. I, I screenshot it. What are some of your favorite movies and what are your favorite go-to restaurants? So, my favorite movies, I like old movies and I like a certain type of movie. So, I like Imitation of Life with Mahalia Jackson. That is my all-time favorite old movie. I like um, The Green Mile, Shawshank Redemption, The Color Purple. Like those are three movies that I could probably watch over and over and over and over again. My husband is so sick of Shawshank Redemption and Green Mile and The Color Purple and movies like that. Like that's just what I like. 
current day movies i like hidden figures i like um anything star wars or star trek um love sci-fi um yeah those are the types of movies that i like and then the second part is what are your favorite go-to recipes well i don't know if i have a favorite recipe but there's some things that i could probably cook a lot and that would be either uh fish or chicken we stay away from like beef and pork because of my husband his stomach is really sensitive he can't do anything greasy and meats that are hard to, to digest are hard for him as we've gotten older we've both noticed that um pork affects us it gives us a headache um just high sodium stuff so i cook a lot of fish i do have a video coming soon may have posted before this one because i recorded it maybe a week or two ago where i grilled some salmon and i uh, did a baked potato and um broccoli so meals like that um are really our go-to rest uh recipes a chicken something i can throw in the air fryer i have learned pretty quickly that i love the air fryer and i love the pressure cooker so i love meals that um i can do quick but are nutritious and tasty so thanks julie martin um sexy eyes 2000 shout out to you because you post on every single one of my videos a lot of you do but there are certain people that stand out and i do apologize Sex, if if I'm offending you by not calling your name, but he has a question, so I'm I'm just saying that I I'm just acknowledging that I see that you comment on every single video, even if it's just to say good video, and I really appreciate that. And I know he's in Alabama, if I remember correctly, because he made a comment on one of my videos when I went to a mobile home place in Alabama. So I see you. His video, his um, comment was, I saw a video of you working out. Are you still working out? So when I opened up this channel, it's, it was a channel that I had previously. Um, before, the channel was Christy Transforming for me. And I had just had... I had just had gastric bypass surgery and there were a lot of videos of me working out. Do I work out like that now? No, I don't. And it's only because of my schedule. I actually miss working out, but I do keep busy. I'm always moving, I'm always doing stuff and I actually need to get back into working out. So I'm trying to figure out what my routine is going to be for working on this job four days a week. I, I first got to learn what my schedule is going to be. And then I plan to map out my day so that I can do videos, cook for my um, family, um, do my spiritual routine of Bible reading and preparing for our worship services. Um, and also I want to incorporate working out. So stay tuned. I will get to it. I do miss it though. It helped me to lose a lot of weight. When I started this weight loss journey, I was 362 pounds. I was almost 400 pounds, you guys, and I was so wide and so huge. And so I'm really grateful to be, I'm not where I wanna be. I got big arms and eventually I'll have plastic surgery, but I have to hit my goal weight and I'm 40 pounds from my goal weight. Um, and you know, I got, I'm, I'm flapping in places, but I'm not big as I used to be and I feel really good and I have a lot of energy so I'm really grateful for that. So thank you Sexy Eyes 2000. Tafferlin Cunningham says I love your hair. Do, do you maintain your locks yourself and how long have you had them? November of 2019 was exactly one year um, and I actually am going to make a video about my hair. But it was, a, I've had um, November, this past November made a year. So that's November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So we're 18 months in. Um, my hair has grown a lot. No, I do not maintain it. The only thing that I do is moisturize it. Um, and now I'm getting ready to start doing it. I try to go four weeks, but now I'm probably going to be going to get it done every two weeks. So stay tuned for the video on that. I've got some great content for that video. 
All right, let's see what else we got. Aisha Samara, hey girl, hey. Um, Mobile Home Diva, your favorite outfit success accessory. Okay, I'm gonna make a video about this. I've already given you a peek into my closet in my mobile home organizing video on the other channel, but I'm gonna do, a, and I haven't forgot, I'm gonna do kind of a fashion show and show you guys what I like, what's my style, what I like to wear. I know you get to see sneak peeks sometimes, but honestly, most of my videos, I'm wearing the same pair of exercise pants and t-shirt because I have a small, like, around the house clothes. Those are very limited. Working from home will spoil you. Sexy Eyes 2000, Diva, you need to create a Facebook and an Instagram page. I have a Facebook and an Instagram page, but I am, you know, honey, it's one step at a time. I'm just, I'm learning every day with this YouTube. I do post pretty regular on Instagram, but I feel that I don't put professionalism in the post. I just post random stuff. Um, it's not about the channel and stuff like that. I've got to get better with it. Facebook, probably non-existent how much I post over there. But I am going to get better. I've actually enrolled in some courses on Skillshare to help me with vlogging and video content and stuff like that. So stay tuned, you guys. It's coming. I will get better. If you like to, my Facebook and Instagram is actually in the description box already. So check it out and give me some pointers. Triona Holmes, what made you start YouTube and was it hard to get a large following? I think that's worthy of its own video and I'll probably go into more detail, but I've already answered the question early in the video why I actually started the channel. But let me just say that I, I started this channel with Christy transforming for me. And I was six months in and I only had 50 followers and I got frustrated, so I stopped. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and close for now. I do have chicken and turkey left. All the veggies are gone, you guys. That was good. But thanks so much for sharing my Sunday afternoon. Thanks so much for allowing me to ramble on and share a little bit about myself with you. I really appreciate you all watching and I'm really, really thankful for you guys. So the goal now is to get this channel to a thousand subscribers. YouTube is a means of financial um, stability for me. And in order for me to be financially, to, to reap the rewards financially I have to get to a thousand subscribers so i'm going to keep pushing out content and i pray that you guys continue to like the comment subscribe if you're not subscribed and stay tuned we got some great things coming okay all right well you guys have a great rest of your sunday and i'll see you later bye bye